Welcome to another Scardcast Battle Report. Today we have 1500 points of Dark Eldar facing off against 1500 points of Mechanized Imperial Guard. This is the 5th 6th edition game. And um, so I'll go over my list and then we'll go over my opponent. Kevin? Kevin, say hi Kevin. Hi. Uh, that's his army over there, just setting it up for the... Sadly it's not all painted today. But I strive to try and find people with painted armies to play. Um, my Archon, Venom Blade, Phantasm Grenade Launcher, Shadowfield, Combat Drugs, Haywire Grenades, in a Venom with four Incubi, Venom with dual cannons, and Grizzly Trophies. Uh, two five-man Witch Squads with grenades, in Venoms with dual cannons. One six-man Reaver Jet Bike Unit with a Arena Champion, and two Heat Lances. Ten Warriors with a Splinter Cannon and a Blaster in a Raider with Splinter Axe and Night Shields. Raider with Night Shields and Grizzly Trophies. Ten Warriors with a Dark Lance and a Blaster. Ravager with Night Shields and three Lances. Razor Wing, four Stock Missiles, two Disintegrator Cannons, and that's it. And then five Scourge with two Haywire Blasters. So that's 1,500 points. What do we have in your list, Kevin? Okay, we've got a Company Command Squad with a Mortar. Yep. Four Infantry Squads. All with auto cannons and grenade launchers. Yep. We have two platoon command squads with four flamers each riding in chimeras. Yep. Uh, chimeras are armed with uh, multi lasers and heavy flamers. Okay. We have ten veterans with three meltaguns in a chimera, multi laser, yep. heavy flamer. Yep. Ten veterans, three meltaguns, and demolitions riding in the last chimera. Okay. We have a Lehman Rust demolisher with a whole heavy flamer. Yeah. A manticore, whole yep. heavy flamer. And two vendettas. Fantastic. So that's 1,500 points. It's a lot of 1,500 points. It's definitely a hard army, so this will be something quite nice. So I've also got my AG's defense line. The defense line. Fantastic. So all in all, that's 1,500 points. Okay, we'll be back. Uh, we're going to set up this table and with terrain, so we'll do all that and so you don't have to see it, and we'll just kind of get going when we start it. The battlefield has been deployed. So we rolled three pieces of terrain. I put this piece of area terrain down because this was my deployment zone. He put a little hedge over here. Actually, it was two pieces of terrain. And then he put a forest here, so I added to another forest here to make another big piece of area terrain. Um, we have to put objectives down, by the way. Um, I put this big piece of line of sight blocking terrain because I'm fighting mechanized guards, so I need to be able to jump up and then jump on him. And I put it in front of his Aegis defense line. He put a building here and another trench system here to get even more cover, and I put another building here and another piece of area terrain over here. For Warlord traits, his Warlord picks all units within 12 uses leadership, and my Warlord and the unit he joins have gained outflank. So, uh, we're going to be putting objectives down, and then we'll do deployments. He's deploying first and going first, and it's not night fight turn one. Okay, stay tuned. Deployment. So we have the Demolisher stay standing up here with a good cover save with some warriors here. The HQ out of sight. Uh, chimera wall behind the, the defense line and a unit in the building here, which is an armor, four, armor 12 building. Then we have uh, Manticore sitting here ready to blast me into oblivion. Demolition, demolition vets. Uh, vets, melter vets, uh, flamer squad, flamer squad, uh, other squad, and then we have two vendettas in reserve with uh, regular infantry squads in them. I have 10 foot troops. That's a regular forest, and that was nothing of note. Literally, literally nothing of note. That objective was a grab world generator, and I have 10 with the lance and blaster in that big unit of area terrain. It's hiding from that manticore. Uh, Ravager over here. Venom with five witches. Venom with five witches. Uh, empty raider, that's their raider, with all good stuff. Uh, empty raider, that's their raider. Uh, that is not checked yet. That is a Gravwell generator, and this is a plus one to cover saves objective. In reserves, I have jet bikes. I have the Razor Wing. I have deep striking scourges, and I have my Archon, who is going to outflank with his Incubi and the Venom. All right, we'll be back. Actually, I'm going to roll for steal, steal the initiative <gasps> for fun.
No, nope. doesn't happen. See you at the bottom of turn one. So, they stayed put knowing that most of my army was out of range. They didn't want to get themselves in out of position early. The Manticore fired into this Venom but scattered off the table. He did get three shots. Uh, this auto cannon fired into those warriors and killed one warrior. The guy that was standing out front uh, didn't make his cover save. In other news, uh, my drugs rolled plus one weapon skill, which is kind of neat. Okay, so now we're on to Dark Eldar 10 1. This witch raider moved up from there, moved here, two are boosted into the terrain, ready to move up next turn. How are you doing, sir? Nice to see you. Hello. Yeah. What's up, man? Um, these two raiders moved up to get just in range, put a penetrating hit on this chimera, and immobilized it. And minus one hull point, of course. This ravager could see that one, but did nothing. This Venom moved up and tuba boosted up there. I reshuffled that unit, and it is now Imperial Guard turn two. We had some shooting, uh, killed one warrior in here, and then that Vendetta stuck a hull point off of that Ravager. So when uh, I'm gonna roll for my reserves on camera, just for fun, we have the jet bikes. They show up. The Archon shows up. And the Scourge don't show up. And the Razor Wing shows up. All right, we'll be back. That Venom boosted up the side. Uh, Ravager and Lance snap fired at that and did nothing. This Razor Wing blasted into this unit and killed all the mo this unit of infantry, killed the base with the strength six, and then killed everything else with disintegrators. The Archon threw a haywire grenade into the demolisher, stripping a hull point. And the Venom blasted into here, and this guy made all of the saves that he was required to make, which is awesome. Uh, jet bikes boosted up this side of the table. That Venom got immobilized with witches, but there's an objective there, so they're not too worried about that. These two moved up and failed with their lances. They stayed put. They kind of shuffled, and then of course that boost moved up. Okay, so now we're going to do turn three reserves for the Imperial Guard. One more Vendetta to come in, and it does. Okay, we'll be back. These moved up to block the Warlord from getting eaten by an Archon. Shooting, saw the Venom with minus a hull point and uh, can't move a shoot. This Vendetta came on, sky fired into the Razor Wing and knocked down two hull points and one of the Disintegrator Cannons got destroyed as well. This Vendetta went into hover mode and shot into this Venom but thanks to it being flat out it survived. Uh, this shot into that. Right now it's sitting at one hull point and it's completely functioning. This Ravager is fine. This is fine. Manticore for the third time didn't do anything. Scattered 11 inches right off the board. And uh, this is this had to evade, so it's probably going to fly off the table this turn. And the jet bikes didn't suffer any casualties. I only have my Scourge to come in. And they don't. So they'll be coming in heroically turn four and hopefully hitting a section of the battle line. Okay, we'll be back. It was an eventful turn this turn. The witches came up here, tried to throw a grenade at that, but missed. Uh, the jet bikes stripped a hull point off. Oh no, didn't do anything. But then, <clears throat> where did I strip a hull point off from? Plasma. Oh right, haywire grenade. Threw it in, stripped the hull point, they charged in, but then he missed with his haywire grenade, so I wasn't able to kill it, and that's still functioning. Uh, didn't do anything to the chimeras. My witch is charged out here. Venom fired into him. Put a, he has got one wound left. Killed another model because I was the only model I could see. And then the witch is charged into the battlements. Uh, threw three plasma grenades in. Each plasma grenade does D6 strength 4 AP 4 hits into the unit. I did uh, eight wounds and this guy's left with one wound. And then I put one more strike hull point on that vendetta but it's still alive. And uh, yeah, so that's all I've done so far. And it's going on to turn four and there's still no first blood. Okay, we'll be back. The demolisher moved up, blasted them, killed two incubi. I made two shadowfield saves. They crack grenaded that and wrecked it. Then the flamers in that chimera murdered all those witches, and then a multi laser blew up no, that the venom. Oh, the melting guns blew up the venom. And then this guy got out of the building, and then they tried to run to try to get in the building. And then shooting combined killed three of the five witches. They're to ground right now. That moved up and fired into there. The other Valkyrie moved off the table, ready to come on next turn, turn five. And uh, one hull point's been taken, uh, has one hull point left. 
and I still have these left. Okay, fantastic. So it's now Dark Eldar turn four, my Scourge and my Razor Wing return. The Incubi murdered that squad. This guy threw a haywire grenade into the Demolisher, finally wrecked it. They fired into this uh, Chimera and put one more hull point on it. They deep struck into this area, the Scourge, and blasted the Warlord into oblivion, gaining a pain token and also my Warlord point. Uh, Ravager and Razorwing fired into the Chimera Wall, only successfully destroyed a uh, Heavy Flamer here and took a hull point off there. I blew up this Vendetta. Uh, the snapshotted it, got a pen, he decided not to evade, and I blew it out of the sky, killing six out of the models inside. They didn't fail their pinning, they're just sitting there right now. And everything else, yeah. So now his uh, Vendetta is coming on again. And it's going on to Dark, I mean Imperial Guard, turn five. Here's a little overview of the table for you all. We'll be back. Uh, fired everything, shorted out his, his shadow field, took a wound. <clears throat> Was unable to kill all the Scourge with a lot of shooting. Uh, killed the two witches, forced the jet bikes to fall back. Flamers murdered some jet bikes, I played that wrong. I should have actually jumped this way and then used them next turn, because I charged into that Chimera but they wouldn't be able to do anything anyway. They got out to contest that, to hold that objective. They're over here. This Vendetta is flatting out here to then go into hover mode after. And so now we're on to Dark Eldar turn five. I'm gonna roll to see if he rallies. He needs Snake Eyes to rally. Nope, all right. Well, I'll catch you guys later. I blew the other Vendetta out of the sky, and then they, these guys charged the remnants and consolidated back. I didn't touch them. That raider was able to snapshot the Vendetta, it was awesome. Uh, this guy failed back a little more. Uh, razor Wing fired into those guys with the flamer that were right there, they fell back. My raider tour boosted on there to force them to go around to try to get to this objective. Um, my Archon threw a plasma grenade into a clump bunch of guys, killed like five of them with a the plasma grenade. I love that it's AP4, and then they ran off the table. My Scourge jumped over, also threw a plasma grenade, killed two of that unit, charged in, but then sadly died. Um, so he held, he's holding that objective right now. And then the Ravager moved up, blew up that Chimera full of veterans. And then we rolled, and the game is done. So, Imperial Guard have three points, plus one point for First Blood, and they're just within 24, so he gets plus one point for um, Line Breaker. So that's five points. I have three points for that objective. Three points for this objective. And I have Line Breaker. So that's seven points to me. So a... And I killed his Warlord, so that's eight points to me. So it's a five to eight win for the Dark Eldar. Here's another overview of the battlefield. And I will have uh, more notes. As always, you can check out the podcast, www.scard.podbean.com, as well as uh, 40k Nation, www.40knation.com. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Sorry it wasn't painted. And the uh, next one should be. Have a game next week where we'll be playing Necrons.